Hey you guys, let's talk about branding. Branding is a word that I throw around a lot and a lot of people throw it around a lot. And what I mean when I'm talking about branding is mostly consistency. It's having a vibe or an image that comes to people's mind when they think of you or your product or your website. So when you think of Coca-Cola, you think of bright red and you think of their logo and the, the cursive, maybe the old Coke bottles or the pinup girls. Um, it's a very sweet American sort of brand and vibe. Everything that you do should be able to evoke certain images and ideas in people's minds. So it starts with knowing what you're trying to what you're trying to do with your product or with your name. So when you create a domain name or the name of a website or the name of your business, you want to be careful about the wording you choose. Um, fun, frisky photography is very different than, I don't know, elegant weddings by Diane photography. It, they're going to attract different customers and they're promising different things. So fun, frisky photography, I hope their website would have, you know, bright colors and maybe eccentric makeup or, um, I don't know, kittens dressed like generals from the military. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, the elegant wedding should have elegant weddings. If she calls herself elegant weddings by Diane and then she has a lot of children's birthday parties, it's not going to make much sense. So you want to be true to your brand and you want to be consistent. When I interviewed um, the famous career counselor, Penelope Trunk, on my site, Blogging Fearlessly, she said that people don't care so much that you're perfect. They care that you're consistent. They want to know what to expect from you. So you want to be relatively consistent with um, your wording. Like sometimes in dysmorphosis, I use inappropriate language. I'm Italian. It's how I express myself. It's how I get really passionate about something. Um, it's not a bad thing as long as I'm consistent. If I'm running a really professional career site and then I start throwing in some some bad words to make my point it's it's gonna kind of kill the professional aspect of what I'm building for Mismorphosis, which is a very personal blog I talk about very personal topics um, it's part of my character is that I'm young and I'm, I'm dating and I'm Italian and I'm intense so all of those things enhance the site that's part of my brand so the first things that you need to think about are your names and your colors and who you're trying to reach and how you want them to feel. And, and then you want to kind of keep this consistent as you move forward with your vision. Um, that sounds like a big commitment and that sounds scary, I know, but it's actually not. If you think about starting a photography business, chances are there's a type of photography that you already have and that you know and that you love and that you'll go back to. So just be sure that you're staying consistent from the very beginning with what your vision is for that particular site. And then as you go, begin to take notes of things like your colors, your fonts, um, even your word choice or how you describe things. As long as everything stays consistent, people won't care exactly what it is you're doing at each moment. So that's it for today. Thanks guys. Bye.